Wasn't she wonderful, Frederick? Remarkable. Thank you. But I could hardly miss at that distance. Uh, oh, it will be a magnificent of trophy. You have the head. You do look remarkably relieved, Mr. Ambassador. Yeah. Oh, I am. I was beginning to be afraid that my promise of game would prove empty. Oh, we shall celebrate the first skill. I must apologize for the temperature, Baron. We're not finished, are we? To raise my glass to the Countess. Charming. Beautiful. It's what she aims at. Whoever he is. Beautifully put, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you, Baron. I don't think I've completely lost the touch. Scavenger. Coyote's count is probably following the blood smell. Come on, Frederick. Why don't you help him? Did you separate? I had to. It was just for a few minutes. Never go alone here. Not even for modesty's sake. But our hunter, Mr. Fulton. What about him? Won't you at least bury him? How do you know? Because the village is almost a hundred miles from here. They wouldn't come this far alone. But why attack us? We are just a hunting party. He knew your name. Who did? Mr. Wells. I was that who that was? Are you the Countess? I am the Countess. Irina Lazar. They said there was one. Who said? The army. They want you people out of here. Why? Because you don't belong here. Oh. What? What does that mean? Just don't faint. Come on. They attacked first. They killed the wagon master. It could have been four. I let one go. Tell him this. I came alone and in peace. But I came alone and not with the army. You kill me, all the hunting party and the army will come in. Many more of your people will die. And how many this time? I will have the hunting party on the move by sunup. I will lead them directly off the reservation. That is my promise. Our promise. Da ina nuka. Your father is wise. Is anything wrong? Oh no, ma'am. We see sights like this all the time here. Mr. Welch is dead. Did you really have to kill one of those savages, Irina? What did it feel like? It's not the same as killing a lion. But a red Indian. He was a man. You're trembling. The water is cold. I want you to have this. I've never had the courage to ask whether it went on a bad turn of the cards or a poor choice of horses. Wear it if you like. Julia, they were going to kill me. He was terribly annoyed. That is hardly important. I want Julia. to please him. It is one thing to try to arrange a marriage, but another to insist on it. You may serve the ladies. But didn't Mr. Carlin explain? But there is a problem. Mr. Carlin gave his word we would leave, and I gave mine too. <laughs> we learned. Uh, by experience in India, that to give way to these natives 
could be a fatal mistake. I hope we teach him a lesson. Mr. Fulton. No. When will they come? The first light of dawn. Mr. Carlin, earlier today you were angry that I separated from Mr. Wells. Yeah. Well, that was a whole other situation, Countess. Right now, ahead of me, I've got uh, two hours sleep, a hard day's ride to the border, to convince the army that it's worthwhile coming in here. You need a good heart. Take my heart. Yes, I want him safe. You don't like us very much, do you? Would you suggest I abandon my friend and go with you? If she leaves. Carlin! Help. If the Indians attack tomorrow, we must get supplies into the stable. I apologize for Carlin. You aren't frightened of me now, are you? Angry? No. I understand you, Frederick. I know you'd rather die than show weakness. Frederick, sensible. Yes. But do you love me, Frederick? It's more important now to save our lives. Sleep well. You need to lead him, ma'am, like a flying duck. Help him. Yes, ma'am. Maybe now we can leave for the fort, Frederick. There would seem to be no choice. Away. Those two, Baron. Did I get went with Fulton? Do we have a chance? We'll be on foot, uh, so it depends. I ground we can hold them off. For a while, that is. He's right, Frederick. Another drop to drink. Water, I mean. Why don't we climb here? I hate to think about those cartridges we lost. I ain't going... And water. Yeah, plenty of time. Strange name, isn't it? Does it mean anything? Look, Frederick. You're romantic, Marina. Something I never suspected in you. I'm not sure I suspected it myself. <clears throat> I'd better take up my post. Rina, even if, I mean, if you were to return to Europe, I would ask you to please forget my proposal of marriage. Father, how could I hate you for doing what you think right? How many times did you say? What? Wash her down a couple of times. Isn't that what you said? Yes. Well... Last night you wanted me. You 
ってみんなを。